What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke and Happy Easter. I guess it's kind of fitting that I have my little egg boy following me around today. Seems to be holding something. Every time I click on him, they just give me a random apricorn, so it's kind of cool. But uh, anyway, so we're on Route 2. This is an entirely new route. Our nice pink-haired friend here actually healed us up, so we can get a new encounter here. We have not been on this route before. Um, I do want to state that my entire team is weak to rock, and that is terrible news for our next rival battle. Um, it could happen at any freaking time, and that guy's rollout is going to destroy me, unless I get something to uh, help out with that. We got an ice type, a flying type, and two bug types. So if we could get a new Pokemon here that helps us out with that, that would be fantastic. But uh, let's see what we can get. First encounter on this route is going to be... What the hell is that thing? Aquad. <laughs> it looks like it's got like a Mudkip face. But, uh, oh, okay, so, definitely a water type. That doesn't really help our case with, um, our rival battle, because it's a hero versus grass type, but that's actually not too bad. We're going to catch this thing. Let's go for a quick attack. And, uh, okay, that actually kind of does quite a bit. It's going to hit us with a bubble. That's fine. Let's try to catch this thing. It's got some weird, I don't even, I don't know how I feel about this thing. It reminds me of, like, Oshawott. And like Quagsire and Mudkip, I don't know. Well, we're going to throw a Pokeball at it because we definitely need all the help we can get. Uh, the good news is if that Herovore locks itself into Rollout, at least we can kind of switch into this thing. And we got it first try, so okay. We got uh, an Aquad. Often swim, it's fighting water, so that's kind of cool. Often swim against river currents in order to train their muscles. They switch their strong tails in order to help themselves keep steady. So... Nice. Well, we'll give this thing a nickname. What the hell should I name an Aquad? It's like a... Just a water fighting type, so... Hmm. Alright, it has been decided... <laughs> I'm gonna name this thing Roundhouse. Just because, uh, you old Roundhouse kick to the face. He's a fighting type, and he's got a very round head, so... <laughs> I don't know, man. Who knows if this thing even ends up being good, but, uh... I kind of like him, so there we go. We now have an Aquad, and uh, let's check this thing out. So, water fighting is a pretty cool typing. It's a hasty nature. It has huge power. Ooh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, it just has bubble focus energy and rain dance, so it's not able to use huge power, but let's go ahead and take the EXP share from Charlotte, and we're going to give it to you, my friend. You definitely use, use your help here, buddy. All right. So that's pretty cool. I guess now we can actually just go heal up uh, in case we want to use that thing in battle. We do look tired. It was, it was tough work catching that uh, weird looking Aquad, but alright. Come back anytime. Thanks, lady. So we're just going to continue this way and see what else this place has got for us. Oh, okay. Something's happening. Oh, it's her. Alright, we're at least not afraid of you because you don't have a fucking hero vor that destroys me with rollout, so that's cool. Are we going to battle you? You know what? I won my first badge, too. Donna was strong, but I managed to defeat her. Now I'm going to take on the Crestlight City Gym Leader. Let's do our best. By the way, can you see these trees on your left side? These are apricorn trees. The berries on it are called apricorns. They come in all different colors. What's so special about these berries, you ask? Well, how about this? We have a battle, and if you win, I'll tell you what's so special. Even if I'll even give you a gift. Ooh, okay. The battle music is awesome in this game. All right, so we're battling Kira here. She's got three Pokemon. She's probably going to be a little more scary this time. She has a Floby, which is a uh, deformed cast form. <laughs> it actually has Drizzle, so that's interesting. Um, are you going to be... I mean, if it's raining... It, I don't see any rain, but let's go for a Bubble Beam. I mean, maybe that it's boosted in the rain. Maybe they just don't have any rain animation. I don't know. Well, bubble Beam does knock it out because our Happy is actually pretty overpowered. Roundhouse grows to level 9 there. Looking good. And next is the Pixui. All right, uh, for the Pixui, we can probably, do, I mean, maybe let's let, let's let Charlotte do it. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to let Charlotte do it. Happy is already level 17. This thing grows pretty quick. I'm, I think we actually need a Water Stone to evolve that thing. I'm not entirely sure, but all right, level 13 Pixui. Um, we don't have any, we have Poison Sting as our best bet here. Go ahead and sting you. Fairy Wind, we resist that, so. Good old Poison but Okay, so there is actually a little bit of rain animation. Not too crazy, but it's there. 
don't get the poison. Okay, it actually does have gust, which hurts a little bit, but we can take that. Charlotte, Charlotte ain't no bitch. One more poison sting is gonna do it, and I assume her last Pokemon is gonna be that, uh, that fire boy. Roundhouse grew to level 10 there, and the Perlet. All right, so luckily the Perlet is in the rain, uh, which means we can just go right into Happy, our nice water ice type. And uh, I mean, I'm excited to see what this thing ends up evolving into. Probably something similar to like Empoleon. Um, but I, I did actually see somebody said something about a water stone. I'm not entirely sure if that's what we actually need to evolve this thing, but we probably do. Goes for a sand tomb. Is this thing? Is it a ground fire type? Well, Bubble Beam knocks you right out. And Happy has been killing the game lately. I'm so proud of you, buddy. This is kind of like our new starter Pokemon. Roundhouse did learn Bubble Beam. We need to get you a physical attack, man. Oh, wow. Good battle. I'll be better next time. Let me heal your Pokemon. Man, we're getting healed all over the place. Lately, it seems like. Thank you for that, Ki Kira. I was going to tell you about the Apricorns either way. You see, there's a man in Oshore Town that can turn these Apricorns into special Pokeballs. I know, right? It's so cool. These Pokeballs are so special because he makes them by hand. I never understood that. How the hell does a guy make a Pokemon out of, or a Pokeball out of nuts? I don't know. Each different colored Apricorn makes a different kind of Pokeball. Here, take this. And we get an Apricorn Basket. So now we can start collecting these things. Uh, but I mean, my Pokemon have already been given me Apricorns. You can find trees all around, all around the place to pick Apricorns. And once you get to Oshore Shore Town, Burt will turn them into Pokeballs. Nice. Well, I better go. Good luck, Hayden. I'll see you around. Thank God that wasn't uh, freaking Rodney. He was way scarier. So I guess we'll grab these two red Apricorns. Might as well turn some stuff into Pokeballs. If we have the, uh, the opportunity to. I always remember in, like, Ruby and Sapphire, it always says, the soil t returned to its soft and loamy state. I was always like, loamy is a word? What the hell? Okay, uh, so we can just continue up this way. We might as well actually switch up the lead here. I'm thinking we could go with, uh, probably just put Pikmin in front for now. We'll leave the EXP share on our new buddy Roundhouse, and, uh, let's do it. Let's see what else we can find in this grass here. Just an Elecritter. It's level 9, so... We'll just run from this thing. It looks like we do have some more trainers here. So we gotta be getting close to the new city. Are you completing gym battles too? Or competing in gym battles? I sure am, buddy. Let's do it then. Youngster Kirby. Got an interesting uh, music here. He's got an ugling. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? He's not too ugly. He's kind of adorable. I like him. So you're probably just a, uh, just a flying type? I don't know. Kind of looks like my, uh, oh, shit, it has Peck. Okay, yep. Probably definitely a flying type. Doesn't look like it could fly, though, so, <laughs> I don't know. Um, we could actually... Don't have much for this thing. Let's just let Twitter do it. Twitter hasn't gotten a whole lot of experience lately. We don't want Pikmin to die. We can't afford for anything to freaking die. Although, we're getting close to having a full team here, so things are looking up. It's only level 10, so we're going to be able to destroy you with just a Peck. I assume. No, but they freaking lived it. What? I should have just... I thought wing attack was going to be overkill. But it was not. Anyway, Ugling goes down. That thing probably evolves into something beautiful. It's probably like the Feebas Melotic kind of deal. Alright, is there any anything for me over here? There is a uh, there's a cut tree where there's a Pokeball, so... We'll go ahead and snap that down. And we got ourselves a full heal. So, we enjoy free full heals. It's like an Easter egg hunt. Finding random Pokeballs. Is this guy fishing? Are you fishing or are you just hanging out? Haven't caught much lately. He sure is fishing. We haven't seen any uh, really fish Pokemon yet. Anyway, Fisherman Gerard here has got an angling. Okay. That thing is actually pretty badass. He's a little uh, <laughs> a little, a little baby shark. Do 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 do. Motherfucker. Just gonna go for a water sport. That's totally fine. Firepower weakened. I never understood water, water sport. What a dumb move. It's like you're already a water type. Fire-type does not do well against you already. But, uh, your angling goes down. And next is an Aquad. Alright. So, we could probably just stay in on this thing and hit it with a, uh... Only level 9. I don't think we need to heal. We're just gonna go for a Fairy Wind here. Judging off the moveset that mine had... Yeah, okay. That's just gonna knock it right out. So that guy's got himself an Aquad, too. I guess Aquad's kind of a fish Pokemon. I don't know. I told you. Get 360 bucks. Thank you for that. And, uh, while we're here, we might as well... Might as well use a, use a potion. Just on our buddy Pikmin here, who's still only level 13. Get it together, buddy. Okay, 
is running through some more grass as it looks like I didn't really need to heal up there. It's very rainy in this route. Good thing I have my umbrella. It's literally not even raining. It's a sunny day, but okay. <laughs> Lady Alita here has two Pokemon. Parasol Lady, huh? She's got a Floby. Another one of these damn things. And, uh, it's gonna make, it, that's why it's so windy around here. You just got your Floby fucking making it rain. That would be such an inconvenient Pokemon to have in real life. Imagine, oh Jesus, critical hit. Imagine any time you pull your Pokemon out of the Pokeball, it just starts raining. You're like, what the fuck? Stop it, buddy. <laughs> it was a nice day. Pikmin grows to level 14 and learned Aromatic Mist. What is that? Anyway, next is another Floby, and we're gonna switch out for this thing. And, uh... We're gonna let Twitter just kill it, I guess. This Pikmin got a little spooked there from that critical hit. Give you a little rest, buddy. Two Flobies, huh? Nice and original. Sweet little cat. This thing is literally a cast form with like a hairdo. <laughs> I kind of like it though. Even though his face is looking nice and sad and spooky. Anyway, that thing goes down. We have defeated Parasol Lady too much rain because he got two freaking Flobies. And we found a Paralyzed Heal. Cool. So, uh, I guess we could chop this down and see. Ooh, there's like some crazy, some pink balls on this tree. What's going on with this? Found a Persian berry. Okay, so there's actually, these are what berry trees look like? Shit is huge. Small berries growing up high in the tree, but they seem impossible to reach. Well, damn. We got the one off the ground. Unfortunately, we can't reach those yet, so let's continue up here. See what's going on. <sighs> I'm so tired. What's up? I have to keep watching here. Many thieves are doing their business in Crestlight City. Got an empty trash can. What are you doing with you, hamstar? I almost said that I shouldn't go alone on this route because you gave me a hamstar. Yep, that hamster will protect you for sure. So here we are in Crestlight City. And, uh, looks like there's some type of shenanigans going on over here. Hello? What's up? And when I was taking a stroll with my lop, lop hug, I could feel a strange presence. I looked around, but couldn't see anything suspicious. But then in a flash, someone grabbed my handbag and ran away with it. Vindy, Vin, Vin, Vindy, Vinny, Vidi, Fugi. What a hero. What? What the hell is this guy talking about? Must have been quite a shock, madam, but I understood the handbag has been found, right? Yes. Yes, Damon just found it for me. I'm so glad. Nearly broke my neck over it. Perhaps we should charge the thief for attempted murder as well? Jesus. Don't be ridiculous, Damon. Yeah, Damon. Madam, are you missing anything from the handbag? Miraculously, I only missed the Pokeball of my lap hug. An empty one, that is. Could have been a lot more trouble, so I'm really relieved. They stole your empty Pokeball, huh? Well, look at that lap hug. It looks like a, it's like a rabbit. Good to hear you aren't missing anything like a wallet, madam. Do you remember any details about the thief? No, I swear he was just mo a moving shadow. Perhaps it was a ma malicious dark Pokemon instead. Do you don't even know if it was a person? Jesus. These witnesses, man. A malicious dark Pokemon? I didn't know these existed. No need to joke around, Damon. We have to take this very seriously. This is a serious matter, Damon. There are numerous reports of similar incidents in the past few days. Terribly sorry, I'm just bitter about the recent events. Thought we'd banish these scoundrels from daylight and put them under the lock, lock and key. Afraid you can't solve this problem on your own anymore, Damon. You must be right, but I won't give up. Who the hell is Damon? What, what is this? How could the thieves remain untraceable? I'm starting to fear for our safety in this city. If I may add something, we got a report. Apparently, mysterious people were seen in Blackleaf Woods. Might be the ones we're looking for. After all, most incidents occur in the vicinity of Blackleaf Woods. Interesting. So there's forests and freaking woods all over this generation, or this, this region. I will vanish into the shadows and go into full pursuit of these criminals. I opt for a security measure in Crestlight City. We won't let anyone in or out until we have more clarity about their whereabouts. Blackleaf Woods is a dead end, so those criminals will get stuck there eventually. Looks like we're going to have to go find some criminals in the woods. Okay. There's like a jail right to the left of them. Where's Damon, actually? He just snuck off. He suddenly disappeared without a trace. That's unfortunate. Never mind, I'll block the north entrance of the city. My workmate will, blo workmate will block the south. Okay. All right, sir. I'm on my way. Quite the dialogue going on here. Hello. Hey you, who are you, a trainer looking for a gym battle? I have to say you're a lucky one. We have to block the city's gateways for a crime. It means you have to stay within the city until it's solved. The only accessible part is Blackleaf Woods, which is a dead end, so there's nowhere to run or hide. Damon, the gym leader, is helping us, so he isn't... Oh, he's the gym leader, okay. So he isn't in his gym at the moment. He's searching for mysterious guys in Blackleaf Woods. I think you shouldn't get in his way. Well, sounds like we're going to get in, in his way. Hello, lady. How bad is your life? How bad does your life that you steal Pokemon from other people? How bad does your life? What, what? Hope the Pokemon, or hope the police, and Damon can solve this crime. Cool. Well, 
Um, we can go ahead and check out some houses, I guess. There's probably also some quests in the Poké Center, so that could be cool. Be interested in trading a Pokémon. I have this Foxy. Caught it the other day, but it doesn't seem to like me much. Looking to trade this Foxy for an Angling. I do not have an Angling, but if I get one, I can, uh... I know that guy's trading. Scared of the dark, that's why I stay inside. Close to my mommy. Maybe if I got a glow-in-the-dark Pokémon, that would, that would be helpful. Because of the darkness in the city, I no longer need to wear makeup. <laughs> Yeah, this place is pretty damn dark. And now it's raining. So, here we have the Poké Center. This guy's got a freaking bat. The city is very old. We like to keep it this way. Okay, this place is spooky as hell. So, we found an Ultra Ball right there. Nice. Okay, we can definitely use that. And we should probably explore kind of whatever every, uh, thing this place has to offer. Hello. Dark types are known for being sneaky and quick witted. It looks like we might have a Dark type gym. Caught on challenging the gym. Better have good strategy. Have you met Damon? He's so mysterious and dreamy. Uh, I don't know, dreamy, huh? So luckily we do have a fairy type, but we come across a bunch of dark types. Brother wants a gecko. I want a lop hug. They're so cute. I don't know what either of those are, but I kind of want both. My sister doesn't like them. Well, this guy wants a gecko. You can get a gecko, buddy. He's got an empty trash can, and uh... Alright, not a whole lot going on in that, in that better place. Uh, but here we have the Poké Center. We should probably just get a nice little heal, and let's see what is going on in the, uh... Actually, we should check out the Mart, too. We definitely need some more items. It looks like we could probably buy at least Great Balls at this point, which would be really nice. Thank you for that. And also, let's see what you're doing. You see the square thing there? It's a PC. I, I'm aware of that. Okay, okay, that was useless freaking information. So this guy's selling a bunch more stuff. Alright, we can get some Super Potions. Let's get like eight of those damn things. And then we should also buy some Great Balls with kind of the rest of our money here. And that's going to be nice because it looks like we might have the chance to catch some cool stuff soon. So, this pleases me. Anyway, there's a bunch of quest people over here, it seems like. Hello. All right, we got four of you. Hello there. You look like someone who can do me a favor. Looking for an item. It's a big nugget. Heard from a man living in the city who has one hidden in his house. Interested in finding it for me? Sure. Just be sure you aren't in the man's line of sight while looking through his stuff. If you find it, please bring it to me. Okay, that's a cool little quest. We'll do that. I'm here because I lost one of my Pokeballs in the Blackleaf Woods, but now I'm too scared to go back into this forest. Maybe you could search for my Pokeball. Sure. Okay, so we are going to go into the forest. Me and my wife are fans of rare Pokemon. Heard of a blue and red psychic Pokemon which lives in Blackleaf Woods. Can you show me one? Okay, um, if, if that ends up being my first encounter, I guess we could bring it to this guy. <laughs> Fans of rare Pokemon. Okay. Pink fairy Pokemon with big hand like ears. Hand like ears. It's like a like a Diggersby though. Okay, so we got two Pokemon that we could potentially bring back to them and get a prize, but other than that, we're looking for a nugget and a Pokeball in the forest. So cool. We also have more vending machines here, which probably shouldn't have even bought damn super potions, but hey, we'll grab a free lemonade. Or not free, but expensive ass lemonade if you think about it actually, but all right, what are you saying, buddy? You have talked to this. You have talked to this guy. Then I think you can go into Blackleaf Woods without any problems. Talk to this guy. I haven't talked to anybody, but okay. Looks like the woods are over there to the left. When I was young, younger, I was hunting for gold in Goldoon Desert. I found a vein of gold, and now I have it always on my side. You look a bit nervous. Do you want to tell me something? Is this the guy we're supposed to steal from? I'm gonna say no. For if you leave my house. <laughs> No big nugget in the trash can. Where is this guy holding this big nugget? Can I... Is it in your bed? Oh! Uh-oh. I was in his line of sight. So, uh... I gotta stay out of this guy's line of sight somehow. Found a big nugget! Oh, we got it! <laughs> it was on the tree. So, uh... Cool. <laughs> well, just gonna steal your big nugget, and we're gonna take that right back to the guy in the Poké Center. Uh, that was pretty easy. I'd kind of rather keep the big nugget, though. We can save that... Or sell that for a shit ton of money, but... What's up, you thief? Hello again, did you find what I'm looking for? I sure did. Wow, this is the big nugget. Look how it's shining. It's so so valuable. So we'll hand it over to me. Did we say no or yeah? I don't... I feel like we shouldn't do this, but I'm going to say yes. Take this for your efforts. And we get TM46 for thief. Um, I feel like it... <laughs> I feel like it would have been better just to keep the damn nuggets. But, uh... Okay, well, I, I mean, we finished the quest, so... That's some productive productive work there. Okay, so what else do we have going on over here? 
Sometimes this place can be scary, but I'm not scared. What's up, police guy? Gotta be careful. Lots of weird things happen around here. Can you move? I want to get in there. Oh, he's, he wasn't even in the way. All right. Got another house here. Are you a trainer? Yes. Oh, then you can have this. Can we get three dusk balls? Nice. Uh, so dusk balls work better in caves and forests or something, right? Yep. Catch Pokemon in dark, dark places like caves and forests, just like I said. I like studying the Pokemon here because it's almost always nighttime for them. I'm sure they act differently according to their environment. So when I'm done with my research here, I plan to go to a city with normal daylight hours. Good plan. Good plan. Not a whole lot in the old upstairs. And uh, this is actually a pretty big city. Whoa, is it is it foggy now? What <laughs> what the hell happened? What's up? Sometimes it rains here and gets misty. It keeps the place mysterious. Ooh, it is pretty mysterious. Anyway, this is the gym. Won't be able to battle Damon. He's not at the gym at the moment, so he's out the forest. If you'd like, you can go to retrieve him from the Blackwood Wood, Blackleaf Woods to the west of the city. He's out there searching for some burglars. Cool. So that is, I guess, what we're going to do next. We've got to make sure we check out all the houses. Nothing like a good time fishing. Evan, got a rod here. Take this. And we get an old rod. Nice. Um, so that's kind of cool. Glad to help trainers see how fun fishing can be. Thanks, buddy. So now we can fish, which is pretty cool. And it looks like it's got some more vending machines. You look important. Certain Pokemon can be very deceptive in their appearances. More to them than meets the eye. Gecko would be one of those particular cases of having a secret power deep inside. Ooh. Well, I want one of those things now. Anyway, we can go up that way, or we can continue to the left where we were originally. Let's go this way. Actually, let's see what this sign says. Entrance to Blackleaf Woods. Okay, so that's Blackleaf Woods, but then what is up to the north? We got all sorts of places we can go, and this game is actually getting really cool. It's not gonna let me pass, no way. Oh yeah, we're not allowed to leave the city until the freaking crimes are solved, of course. So I assume, we gotta go help Damon with whatever he's doing. He's gonna return back to the gym. Then we can beat the gym, and then we can head out of the city. So, we got our work cut out for us. What's up, buddy? Dead end, so be careful of not getting lost. Well, I will. I mean, if it's a dead end, I couldn't get too lost. But alright, here's the Blackleaf Woods. We can catch the first encounter we come across here. And this place is looking crazy. What is up with you? Do you have a little darkness in your heart? Ooh. I, I, I do, I guess. I don't know. Sweet hair, though, buddy. Punk Guy Gregory here has one Pokemon, and it's a Stotox. So, um, that's not the best for us because we know this thing's poison type. So, let's actually bust out our buddy Roundhouse here. I mean, it's level 13 actually might not be the best idea. Poison Sting doesn't do much. Let's try to, let's, I think this one is rock type, right? Let's, let's go for a bubble beam. It's also raining, so we get the rain boost. And that just destroys it. Look at our buddy roundhouse. Already just roundhouse kicking things to the face. We go to level 13 there, get a bunch of experience. Wait, what? He's like, what the hell just happened? What was that thing? <laughs> um, we can go ahead and cut down this here tree. I'm really excited to see what our first encounter is here. Over here we got TM100 for Confide. Thank you for that. Okay, let's see what we got. Our first encounter in this forest is gonna be, holy shit, it's a gecko. <laughs> yes! That thing is crazy as hell looking. It reminds me of uh, that movie Land of the Lost for some reason. Weird little lizard guy, I don't know. His eyes look like Pokeballs. I have no idea what type this thing is, and I don't wanna kill it, so. What should I do? Um, we could actually just maybe go for a stun spore here. It's level 11, so I'm gonna go for a miracle eye. I was identified, huh? Of course we missed the freaking stun spore. Damn it, Pikmin. No! Oh, fuck, it teleported! <laughs> Damn it! Um, so that very much sucks. Our first encounter here ran from us. I'm not able to catch a gecko. Fucking damn it. Man, I really wanted that thing. I should have just threw a Pokeball. That was that was shitty, man. Of course, we found the lost Pokeball, so that's cool. We can bring that to the lady in the Poke Center. But I'm upset we don't get an encounter in this route because Nuzlocke rules say we could only catch the first thing we come across. And if we don't manage to catch it, it's kind of just tough luck. So that sucks. But we find a Jumple here. 
Hello, little jumble. I might as well start killing things we find in the wild because I sh I'm pretty sure we're going to need to grind before the next gym. At least to play it safe anyway. So we'll kill that little jumble boy. And, uh, man, there's just Pokemon all up over to play. Holy shit, look at that thing, a Venap. My god, you've got to be poison type. That, he's like a little bumblebee flower guy. We're just going to run from that thing. I don't... Man, I wish that would have been my first encounter. Of course, we get the encounter of the one thing that can use teleport. So that's, <laughs> that's freaking annoying. But, uh, I, I'm still afraid of Venap. He's got, he's got a venomous sounding name, so... Hello, punk lady. I love the darkness in here. Yep, I, I too am all about the darkness. This is punk lady. Shirley here has one Pokemon. It's a Beopup. You've got to be a dark type. This thing actually looks kind of cool. It's like Beowulf. Beopup. It's like a wolf boy. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a quick attack and then... Fairy win. Should do the trick. Yep. It's nice to have a fairy when we're coming across all these dark types. So that's good. Roundhouse trying to learn Detect. You know, Detect might actually not be a bad thing to have. Let's get rid of, uh... Let's just get rid of Bubble. I think Detect might be good because a lot of the Pokemon, I don't know what the hell they're going to do in this game, so I can kind of scout out moves, I guess. So that's kind of cool. You are the darkness. Thank you, lady. So, uh... Got a Pokeball down here. Apparently this place is a dead end. Found an Aether. Well, that is nice. We will take that. It's over this way to the right. So we can hop down that way, but we shall continue. Hello, hat guy. Fear my Pokemon. I fear no Pokemon, sir. Ranger Brad here has just a gecko. Okay, so it looks like we do actually have to battle this thing. No idea what this thing's gonna be. It... Red and blue. Okay, it's psychic type. It has uh Oh shit, that side beam just destroyed me. Alright, yep, Pikmin died. That was, uh... <laughs> that was a large derp. Why didn't I heal there? I... Wow. I really I really messed that one. <laughs> it's a psychic type, and Pikmin has not enough defense. I was not paying attention to how freaking little health I had. God damn, I just lost my fairy type right when we need it for all these dark types. Bruh. Yep, okay. Yeah, Pikmin's dead. That was just a poor that was just poor play on my end entirely. And uh I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> say that that was my bad. I, I think I just didn't accept the fact that this thing was level 15. This guy's coming at me with some heat. Jesus Christ. Well, um, that was bad. Psybeam even does over half to happy. Jesus. Okay, we luckily get a crit there. And, yo, this thing is scary. Dude, there's going to be so many deaths in this Nuzlocke. Uh, we should probably switch into Twitter here. Why the hell did I stay in against this thing with my little fairy boy? I was like, oh, this thing's just probably going to use, you know, teleport or just some dumb shit. But of course not. And I, I really failed there. That was a very large fail. Let's just go for a wing attack here. Please don't crit me. Thank God. We live with six. Jesus. Well, we're able to kill it, but only after it killed my Pixie. Okay, to be fair, Pixie was the least favorite of my team, team members, so I guess that's kind of okay. But dude, damn it. What? I killed my Pikmin. It was only level 14. I was going up against level 15, and I was at like half health. That was a very large mistake on my end, and I'll accept that. So I apologize. But, uh, shit happens. There's a Pokeball right there. Man, we gotta, uh, we gotta run back to the Poke Center before we, before we mess around with too much other shit. I feel like I should go back and, uh, at least bury my dead Pixwee. But am I even going, okay, we got a Pokeball over here. We got a full heal. Nice. So, uh, we'll take that. But, dude, I'm sad. I, that side beam just destroyed me. I don't know why I, I looked at that thing as if it wasn't a threat, because... Most definitely is, <laughs> but that was bad. Also, I'm going to make sure I'm nice and healed up here. I guess we'll just use the rest of these regular potions. Might as well just get you to full. There we go. Happy. Use my last potion. I'm sure I'm going to run into people that I haven't battled before we get to the get out of this place. 
Should I just finish this place off before I run back to bury my Pixwee? We might as well. Anyway, we'll battle this lady. Bugcatcher Luna has a Glowcoon. Ooh, we have not seen one of those. Somebody was somebody mentioned something about a glow in the dark Pokemon. There's your Glowcoon right there. It looks like a big old question mark. It's got like an electrode-esque face. <laughs> String shot, nice. Okay, well one more Aurora Beam's gonna do the trick. And uh you dead. What else you got? I, I assume that thing evolves into like a glow butterfly. It's probably like the Metapod version of uh this new generation. Anyway, another jump pull here. We know that we can destroy these things. Dude, that one dude with the level 15 fucking gecko thing. OP! Everybody else has level 12s. Why did I not check that thing's level and assess the situation harder? I'm still hung up on that. But I'm awful, so. Just goes to show you. Anything can happen in this Nuzlocke. <laughs> it's definitely. Ooh, it's one of them. It's one of them Bayo pups. Hello, buddy. I am just gonna run from you. Never mind. How about this time? Okay, now we can run from it. So, uh, Jesus Christ, wild Pokemon, get out of my way! Oh, it's a freaking Stotox. So, we know we can hack these things up. I just don't really feel like getting poisoned. We're just gonna run. Where even am I? I'm lost as hell. I battled this guy already, right? Yeah, okay, so we definitely are right at the beginning. Well, <laughs> I just found my way back. So, since we're here, we might as well go bury our buddy Pixwee to add to the growing number of deaths and we weren't even able to get an encounter on that route because I had no idea that shit was going to use teleport, so... We're set back a little bit. We definitely added to the team this episode. But, uh... Sorry about that, little Pikmin. We're going to store you in the death box, and I have now effectively killed three Pokemon, so... I am just the worst type of human being. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Next time, we're going to continue and, uh... Go find out where the hell the gym leader's at, so... Don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. Press F's for my buddy Pixwee, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.